Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming, and I'm coming back at you guys with a mod tutorial once again. Um, this is how to install single player commands for Minecraft 1.1. Um, but if it updates to another version, you know, like 1.1.2 .1 or something like that, I'll just change the title and change the download links uh, in the description below. But it'll still be the exact same process. So if you're watching this at a later date, this will still work for any of the versions that are they're gonna that are gonna get updated soon. All right, so there's about three things you're gonna need for this mod to work. You're gonna need the actual single player commands mod folder right there. It's a zip folder. You're gonna need mod letter, also a zip folder, and then you're gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip. All right, so you just need an archiving program. All right, so the first thing that you need to do once these are on your desktop is extract them. So just right click on each of the folders and hit extract all, and then hit extract. And this will just put them in open folders where you can drag stuff out of. So this is essential to doing this. Also, I want to mention that you do want to have your Minecraft closed while you're installing this mod just because you're going to have to delete something in your Minecraft folder and it needs to be closed or you can't delete it. Alright, so once you've um, got these in open folders, go down to your start menu and type in percent, app data, percent, and hit enter. And it'll open up your roaming folder and then go directly to your dot Minecraft folder, which should be the first one in there. Next, we're going to go right to our bin folder, which should also be the first file folder, and then head down to the second to last uh, file, which is a uh, executable jar file, and open that with, so just right click, open with WinRAR or 7-zip, whichever one you're using. Okay, so once you're inside of your Minecraft.jar, locate this meta-inf folder, which is in all capital letters, right click on it, and hit delete files. Um, this is when you're going to need Minecraft to be closed or that won't delete out of there. I know some people have problems with that, uh, but that just disables mods, so we're going to have to delete that or this mod will not work. Alright, so once we've done that, we can go to our mod loader right here. Grab all the class files in there, so just grab everything and drag it into our Minecraft.jar. And we're done with mod loader, so we don't need that folder anymore. Then we're going to head into our single player commands folder. We're going to first find this readme, delete that out of there because we don't need it. And then we're going to grab all the files in here. Besides this world edit, make sure you don't grab this world edit and drag it in there. So just get all of them and delete the readme and don't grab the world edit. All right, so once you've dragged all those in there, we can exit out of our Minecraft um, jar. So we can just exit out and we go back into our bin folder. And when you're in your bin folder, uh, this is the last step. You're just going to want to grab this world edit folder or file and drag it into your bin where your um, Minecraft executable jar file is. Once you've done that, um, this mod is ready to go. So basically, what we did is drag all the class files from Mod Loader into our um, dot .jar, grabbed all the class files in the single player commands folder into our jar, and then dragged the world edit into our bin folder. All right, so let's open up Minecraft and we'll get this going. See if it's worked. <laughs> Alright, single player. Great. It's gonna take one second. And then once it does, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so as you can see right there, it says single player commands right there is already installed, so I don't really need to show you much more, but I'm going to show you just some of the little features that you can do. Alright, so let's go. We'll go T and then we can type in spawn cow. Boom. And it will spawn a cow right there that we can beat it up and make it die. Alright, so as you can see, the mod did install, it worked correctly. Just follow this tutorial and you'll be good to go. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If it helped you, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below as well as a comment. Both of those things help me out a lot. Also, subscribe for more videos because I'll be uploading more mod tutorials and just um, gaming videos soon to come. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in my next one. See ya.